Hello friends, I am Scottman and you're watching a new episode of Scottman Plays where in this season we are covering the Sega Master System. I'm trying to play a game starting with each letter as well as a few bonus games while giving you all some fun facts and sharing my thoughts on how these games play. So, with all that out of the way, let's jump on in. Okay, this is episode 2 of the Sega Master System series. This episode we are playing Bubble Bubble, and I'm pretty excited to play this. This is one of my favorite games of all time, and it is really good when played with the second player. Uh, this version on the Sega Master System was released in 1991. Uh, it's a two-player game, like I said before. The original version was released in the arcades in 1986, and it's been ported to about 30 other systems, including Commodore 64, the original Nintendo, Game Boy Color, and the Wii U Virtual Console. The plot of this game is uh, Baron Von Blubber, has kidnapped the brothers Bubby and Bobby, his girlfriends, and turned the brothers into bubble dragons. Uh, these dragons have to finish 100 levels in the cave of monsters in order to rescue the girlfriends. So, the rescue the girlfriend uh, theme has raised its ugly head again. Um, yeah, like just like in Alex Kid in the last episode. We have to rescue our girlfriends. Anyway, let's uh, let's jump on in. Now it is beginning of a fantastic story. Let's make a journey to the Cave of Monsters. Good luck. Pretty fun. Okay. So the gameplay idea is pretty simple. Shoot bubbles at the enemies. You trap them in the bubbles and then you pop the bubbles to get fruit and points. Pretty simple. When you play this in, in co-op you can really coordinate with your partner to clear levels very quickly. Like player one goes left, player two goes right. And you can really, um, really get far. Get the gem for some points. So like a lot of games in the 80s, um, they, the game tries to teach you that fruit is good, you know, which is a good thing to know. Ah, oh, bad start. Pop these. Oh. So when there's one enemy left, he turns red and he gets really angry. Like he goes fast. And he's harder to kill. Alright, got the T. So fun fact number one, the dragons that you play as, they're named Bub and Bob. Pretty fun. Alright, good start. times. Not playing very well tonight. There we go. So you notice uh, there's letters on, on the left side of the screen, X, T and N. Um, you can click letters and when they spell the word extend, 
you get a free life and you automatically pass the level. So it's good to keep an eye out for those bubbles with the letters. We're on level 8 at the moment. Oh no! Not sure how far I'll go in this game. Uh, fun fact number two is that in the arcade there is 100 levels and the Sega Master System version is the only one that has 200 levels in it. So you get a lot more value for your, for your gaming dollar. Oof. There we go. The necklace. Yeah, we go. So we're on level 10 now. Okay. Get the crown. There's a book up here. Right, let's get the book. Oof. Nearly died. Oh wow. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Oof. I don't know, I grabbed the book and I lost frames. It cleared the level for me, so it's probably worth it. So in my practice games tonight, I have died quite a few times on this, on this level. So, yeah, let's see what happens. I've got a little fairy around me. What does the fairy do? Ooh, the fairy will kill the enemies for me. I like that. My kind of fairy and smiley faces. I've never seen that. That's so cool. Like I've I've played this game hundreds of times and I've never seen that particular item. Oh, I still got the fairy. Yes. Come on, give me some more kills. Oh no! Fairy did not kill everything for me. <sighs> oh, I died. That is game over. So. What do I think of this game? Bubble Bobble is great. It is easily one of my favorite games of all time and it is an absolute blast to play with a friend. It is an easy game to learn and there is always something new to discover. I recommend that you all try Bubble Bobble if you haven't already. Let me know in the comments below what you think. All right, feel free to leave a comment down below and check out my socials too. If you'd like to hear more of my beautiful voice, look up the Forlorn Games podcast. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you all soon.